Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel 444. My name is Natalie. I'm getting ready to read for the sign of Taurus right now. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Keep in mind this is just a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with all Tauruses out there. Check your birth chart if this does not resonate with you, okay? Um, everything else about this reading will be in the description box below, including on how to contact me for a personal reading. All right. So, so far we have release your ex, Taurus. It's time to clear out your energy and free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. All right. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys know this already. You're in the process of releasing someone right now. You're in the process of freeing yourself. We have success here. Okay. At the bottom, we have forgiveness. So it's like you ain't you ain't hating. You're not bitter on this person. You're just you just know that you have to release this person, right? You're very much in your power of um, a peaceful mindset. Six of Swords energy. You're moving away uh, peacefully. You're releasing expectations. You're releasing um, a person. You're releasing something that had you bound. Something toxic or something that maybe, you know, didn't let you feel free. Like something that didn't let you feel happy. With the success card here, I see that you are gaining victory and success. You are overcoming battles here. Um, you see that panther right there? Black panther represents a lot of um, overcoming things. I don't have to Google what exactly a panther symbolizes, but I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with power. You know what I mean? Like just gaining power. You gain some power and that's how you freed yourself. You overcome something within yourself and within your life in order to release yourself from the situation. Okay. All right, spirit. What do we have for Taurus? Right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What do we have for Taurus right now? What do we have for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so we have the Six of Swords. Oh wait, I'm sorry. That's the Two of Swords. It's the Two of Needles. This is the Night Before Christmas deck. We have Temperance here. You have the Ace of Presents. You have the Seven of Candles. You have the Empress. Strength. Knight of Potions. And then we have the Queen of Presents here. Someone is healing. Um, and the way they're doing this is that they're standing their ground when it comes to a certain situation here. Someone wants to manifest things with you. I don't know. We're going to clarify. Someone really wants to manifest things with you, um, Taurus. But I, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like someone is holding back. Someone is taming themselves from this situation. Tell me about the Two of Swords here for Taurus. Two of Swords for Taurus. The Hierophant. It's almost like this person doesn't know what to do, so they do what they always have done. It's like they do what they know best, and that's their old societal ways. I'm hearing old ways. It's like they're old. They have an old way of thinking. They could maybe be older than you, Taurus. Um, but that's really interesting that I heard that someone didn't know what to do, so they went back to their their old ways. Tell me about temperance here. Okay, all right, so we have the five of wands. Yeah. Guys, um, I don't think you want to fight with this person anymore. You're trying to um, temperance your own energy out, let alone dealing with this person. You're coming very financially stable. You're trying to stay down to earth. This is your energy here. The queen of presence here, queen of pentacles. I feel like you're standing your ground when it comes to your energy right now, when it comes to this person. Tell me about the Ace of Presents for Taurus. Alright, hold on. 
Ace of Presents for Taurus. Ace of Presents for Taurus. It's like something new coming in. There's something new. Maybe a new job. Maybe a new... Something that you... Oh, okay. Someone is stuck over a heartbreak. I think... I, okay. Maybe there was a promise... Maybe someone made a promise and that promise didn't follow through. I'm hearing, yeah, okay. This person didn't know what to do, right? So they went back to their old societal ways. Maybe they went back to an ex, Taurus. If this doesn't resonate for you, please don't take this story, all right? A lot of you already know this, and I think it, it caused you some sort of heartbreak. Tell me about the Knight of Potions for Taurus. Knight of Potions for Taurus. High Priestess. Following their intuition um, about an offer here. This person is holding back from you. They're like, they're, okay, they're going to come out the woodwork here. They're going to come out the woodwork. They're going to, um, they're going to come out of hiding, I'm hearing, out of being quiet and bring you an offer here. Tell me about the queen of presents for Taurus. Queen of presents for Taurus. Two of wands. Page of Swords. Someone's trying to get some more information about something. Someone's trying to plan for something. I think this could be you. It's like you're you're coming off as this young, adventurous energy. Some they could be spying on you. That too. I'm also hearing that. But and and they could be at a distance from you. So there could be some social media spying going on right now, Taurus. But I think that this person sees you in very much in your power. They see you being your Taurus ways. Right? Your your Queen of Pentacles. You're down to earth focusing on your pentacles, focusing on your stability energy. Tell me about the Empress here for Taurus. The Empress for Taurus, please. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords. So they're going to come in. They're, they're going to hastily come in. Um, you walked away from this person because you don't doubt yourself here. Um, they want to reconcile and fix everything with you. But I feel like, what's behind this card? I feel like, yeah, they want to reconcile because you make them happy. But I feel like you closed the cycle out because you saw some manipulation. Some light shined on some manipulation here. You overcame it, took control, and now this person is left juggling out in the cold. All right, tell me about strength here for Taurus. Strength for Taurus. Someone rising in the sign. Strength. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person is stuck. They feel like. They feel like maybe you're over this situation. They feel like maybe time is up because you're over it. They want a second chance though, but they're just like, I'm really getting the vibe of them. Like maybe they're holding themselves, they're taming themselves, but they're going to come forward. Like the wheel is going to turn here and they're going to come forward here. They're going to get out of their head. Tell me about the seven of candles here for a Taurus. Seven of candles for a Taurus. I have the lovers and the ace of pentacles here. They're going to come in and they're going to offer you something. Something that they should have offered you a long time ago, I'm hearing. That same ace of pentacles. They didn't know what to do before, but now they choose you and they're ready to offer it to you. They're going to they're gonna have to fight for it, though. I'm hearing that they might, have to, they might have to fight for this. They might have to fight for this. Yeah, they got to fight to express their feelings here. Because they regret this ending. 
with you, it's been a burden for them. I feel like maybe they had to go back to other commitments, Taurus, and they didn't like it. I don't know. I Maybe I'm reading too deep into it, but I feel like for a lot of you, um, this person went back to their old ways, maybe an old marriage or something like that something like an old commitment or just a, maybe just it's just a way of thinking I don't want you guys to all think that maybe your person every person that you guys are dating out there every Taurus is dating a married person I don't I don't think that's the vibe but it is some sort of commitment something that they had to run back to or something that they didn't know what to do like they were just stuck in two minds like they the two of swords represents someone that does not know what to do. It's like they're being loyal to two things. So they don't move. They just sit there. And I think that's what they did. And I think that's what hurt you. What's going on with Taurus? About this reading. Now they want to come back in and promise you something. But it's like they're stuck because they could be going through some karma. Yeah, they could be going through some karma here, Taurus. Let me get one more for Taurus. Oh, okay. I said one more, please. All right, so we have... It's time to release negativity. I feel like this person wants to stop fighting with you. They, I feel like if you guys are fighting, they don't want to fight anymore. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. That's very relevant for this reading. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. There's a blue moon coming up around um, Halloween. I'm not sure the exact date. I'm going to have to look that up. But that's very significant that that came out. And then we have meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So, um, in order for this person to come forward to you, they have to think about a way to come forward to you. I feel like they're really hasty and sort of anxious. And Spirit is trying to tell them to relax and to communicate and believe in the possible. Believe in the impossible. I feel like, I feel like this reading comes in full circle. And um, this person will come out of their head. But I feel like they have to, they got a plan. All right. Taurus, that was your reading. I hope I gave you guys some clarity. If I did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys in your next reading. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.